Diasol is a pioneering developer of third generation solar cells with a focus on solid state dye technology. I'm John Treadgold and joining me today at the ASX Investor Series is the company's managing director, Richard Caldwell. Richard, welcome back to FNN. John, thanks for having me. Last time you were here, you told us about Diasol's unique solar power technology that can be integrated into building materials. Uh, can you give us an update on your product developments? Well, Diasol is uh, upscaling from the lab to fab, as we say. We're currently working at 10 by 10 modules. And by 2016, we hope to be working at a metre by a metre or industrial scale in what is known as our major area demo project. So it's all very exciting and uh, a heavily accelerated development program. In terms of financials, can you give us a brief snapshot and an idea of your short-term financial goals for the company? Certainly. Uh, Dysol publishes its quarterly uh, financial position on the ASX. As you know, we're a pre-revenue company, so we do rely on minimising our burn rate. We do that by either selling materials and equipment, which helps supplement our burn, and we also enjoy subsidies and grants from the government. So this year, we expect to spend somewhere between seven and eight million dollars, although we don't make formal forecasts on the stock exchange. Okay, great. And, and who has been backing the company to this point, and how many shareholders are on the register? We're very lucky to have uh, loyal retail shareholders. Uh, our share register is comprised of mainly European and Australian retail shareholders. More recently, in 2013, we brought on Tasney, a very large Saudi Arabian company that now owns 33.5% of the company and is our major strategic investor. Very good. And you've also had considerable interest from the Turkish Development Bank um, with a letter of intent looking at commercialising your glass uh, PV panels. Can you fill us in on the details there? Sure. The, the, the Turks have been following Dysol for the last 10 years. Uh, more recently, we've come together with a company called Nestle DSC and also the Turkish Development Bank to form an early stage collaboration to upscale the technology through a prototype development development of a pilot line and also plans for mass production in Mersin on the Mediterranean in southern Turkey. Uh, over time we hope to build a facility that generates 600 megawatts of production each year. So it's very exciting and uh, the Turkish Development Bank has made a letter of intent helping us secure the finance for that major development. A lot to look forward to. Um, but the Australian government has continued to cut its support for renewable energy uh, companies in Australia. What does this mean for demand locally and your focus on offshore markets? Well, uh, the conditions in Australia have been challenging for renewable, energies, uh, for renewable energy companies, but it's not a showstopper. And in fact, as the technology develops and improves, uh, we feel that we can succeed in the absence of government. One of the main problems presented by the government's position, at least the current government, is the fact that it's very difficult for, for investors to assess the, uh, the benefit of investing in an Australian renewable energy company, which is why Dysol not only operates in Australia, but has a very broad international reach and looks to develop its technology in other markets beyond Australia. And looking more long term, um, what should investors keep an eye on? Sure, I think we dual, dual track our commercial plans and our technology development plans. Each quarter we publish our technology milestones and they're coming along brilliantly. Last, uh, in the last few weeks we've published uh, stability and durability results which are world's best. And on the commercial front we hope to announce a similar commercial development to that we have in Turkey in another major location over the years. So some exciting developments for shareholders to look forward to. Definitely, definitely. Richard, thank you for joining us on FNN. Absolutely, my pleasure.